Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Starbound. Today is October 21st, 2014. And I am playing the latest nightly build that came out yesterday on October 20th. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys one of the new quests in Starbound. Um, and maybe take a look at some of the progress that Chucklefish has made on the game since they started doing this whole nightly build thing. Now... I should back up and give you a little bit of a disclaimer here. You will not have this nightly build if you have Starbound. You won't see what I see here today. You can't follow along unless you opt in to the uh, the nightly build track, as they call it. So you'd have to do that through Steam. Um, and I'll put a link down below in the description to a page with those instructions on how to do so. And now the disclaimer. If you do that, be prepared for your entire game files to be wiped out often like almost every time a new nightly build comes out so um, this is part of the testing if you don't want to do that then then do not opt in and just continue to enjoy your starbound alpha the way it is and wait till the next big update comes out the next big official update which i don't have an eta for that but uh probably pretty soon anyway as you can see here i'm on my ship it's got holes in the hull there's a hole here and it's not for my bullets but i am shooting at these darn fireflies uh, those are fireflies, those are the sparks. I've got sparks flying out of the circuits. My ship is um, busted, it will not fly. I can get in here and I can see my system, the planets around me. Um, actually, I can't even get to the system. I can't, I can't fly without actually repairing the ship first. And this is something that's new in this particular, well, in nightly builds. Um, I did show you guys sail, right? Ship-based artificial intelligence lattice in the last episode. This is sort of your guide in the beginning of the game now. And he, she, it will give you your early quests to get you started and get your feet wet in the game if you've never played before. And I've done all the early quests already. I'm up to the point now where I've never done this before. And this is to repair the ship's thrusters. So... Sale says, I can repair the thrusters with the ship's auto repair module, but I'll need 1,000 pixels and 20 core, core fragments from the planet below. And that is how you repair the ship, at least the thrusters and the hull, so that we can at least fly within our system and get to some other planets. Now, he also offers you upgrades to your matter manipulator, which is, uh, I, I've already upgraded this one time with eight copper bars, so I can upload, I can upgrade again and this will allow the collection of liquids that that's pretty cool that's never happened before either but we are going to focus on this one today i'm going to show you guys where to get these core fragments because i have uh gone crazy looking for them with with other characters and i finally found some and i'm going to show you guys where to get them so let's go do that right now without any further ado we're going to beam down to the planet and get cracking so here's my little hidey hole. I've set up a, a sort of a tiny little base here, nothing fancy. And I did want to do one thing before we go. What was it? Um, oh yeah, I want to just make a silver pickaxe. So I just came back with some gear. So I had a copper pickaxe that I found. I found these weapons here, some magical weapons that are pretty effective. And I found all this stuff. Well, I crafted this gun, which is pretty easy to make. And uh, the Nova Kid now has these guns that he can craft, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, I've got a Winchester in here. The Deputy's Vest. So this is all Nova Kid specific gear. Deputy Slacks. Um, we'll get to that eventually, you know, when, I, when we actually do a full Let's Play. But right now, again, the focus here is on the getting this, these core fragments. Oh, gosh, hello. <laughs> and I forgot there, there's, there's actual hostiles. Oh boy. This gun's pretty good. Does some pretty good damage. As long as I can hit him anyway. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the left and show you guys a, a mining operation that I have discovered deep underground. And it seems like every time I start up a new character, I get the same underground mining operation. It, it could be coincidence, but I don't think so. And I'm not entirely sure about this, but my theory is when you start a new game of Starbound with the nightly builds anyway, this is going to happen. You're going to find this this mining operation. Um, this isn't it, by the way. I'm just grabbing some coal for fuel. Um, and you'll explore that mining operation. And there's a bunch of chests and, uh, and crates and things. And you'll get a bunch of 
early gear that's very helpful. Like, I, I think I even found the copper pickaxe there and a bunch of copper bars and found some iron bars. I found these weapons there. And it gave me a nice little boost and, and a leg up in the very early part of the game. So that's something new with, this, with the Nightlies as opposed to the old alpha. And uh, it kind of gives you a, a better head start, a quicker start. And there's much less grinding. And I can't hear that music. Can you guys hear that music? Let's bump that up a little. Yeah, there we go. I like how a little background music. Um, so I like that idea. And my theory is because every time I start a new character, I, I get to the same, the same mining operation. I'm thinking that it's going to be pr uh, pretty well standard operation for all new characters. I could be wrong. And maybe, maybe it'll be... It'll vary somewhat, but uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Nah, here it is. Wasn't that far. So I've marked it off with some torches here, and this is just as I found it. There was um, oh, you know, I don't even think there was a hole here. There was a, there was another entrance somewhere over here. Maybe maybe I found it in this cave. Not that it matters. But anyway, let's head on down. And again, this was all here. It was filled with some monsters. I've cleared it all out. There were tents down here. I left a couple behind. Some some cold iron chairs not very comfortable but all these mine shafts were made up some barrels i've grabbed a few of those for myself which is nice for storage purposes and all this was here the railing and i just followed this all the way down and i found this glitch dungeon here and i collected a bunch of materials there and i decided to explore this cave to try to go deeper and deeper down until I could find these these core fragments because I had heard that the core fragments were very very far deep into the earth and they certainly are so I decided to dig right through here this was not here this was actual dirt and then I found this open cave and continued on down a chest there took all the goodies I took all the goodies from here already pretty much so I'm gonna show you guys how deep these core fragments are and there's plenty of them. Once you get down there, don't worry about it. Oh, I have some on me, by the way. I did grab a few. That's a core fragment ore. And we need 20 of those and 1,000 pixels. So we've got the cache. We just need the fragments. Oh, hello. Down, down, down we go. Here it is. Core fragments right in the, uh, the dirt. I think this is dirt, hard-packed dirt. We've even got some diamonds down here. So that's how low they are. They're down in the diamond level. And um, let me show you this. Lava. Woo. We're down by the core of this planet, and you can see there's just literally oodles of the stuff. So it's really not a problem to get once you find it, once you know where to look. I think the, the hardest part is finding a natural tunnel to get down here to get it. <laughs> so I'm just using my matter manipulator here and grabbing the core fragments. They're pretty easy to collect. And I think you can even get these with the pickaxe. Yes, you can, because this pick is not working for everything. It won't work with the diamonds. It doesn't work with the platinum. It didn't work with the gold. I I also think that, um, I'm pretty sure I read this, that the picks are going to go away. Well, they might. you might be able to find like an ancient magic pick or something like that. If, if I recall correctly, I read this somewhere. But I think... Chucklefish wants you to use your matter manipulator. The picks are kind of an old, ancient tool, right? I mean, this is... We're flying spaceships here, folks. Um, we should be using our matter manipulator instead of old picks. But as I said, I'm pretty sure I read that the picks will still be in the game, but I don't think it's going to be like a craftable item. But you'll be able to find some really fancy old magical picks or something, which sounds pretty cool. So I'm just going to grab these diamonds as well. What the heck? Why not? While we're down here. You still do need lots and lots of coal for fuel. And that is how we had originally in the old alpha. That's how we got around, right? That's pretty much all you had to do to get off that initial planet was, uh, was to come up with some fuel. But again, now we have to do this repair job. And I think before we go, because we're just about ready to repair, I want to come down here to my hidey hole and grab this stuff. I don't think we're coming back here anytime soon. So I'm going to grab my furniture, and I think that ought to do... What's wrong with that lantern? <gasps> Seriously? You can turn lamps on and off? I never knew that. I don't know if that's new in this build. That is so wild. I'm taking it. 
Cool. <laughs> I love it. I love the little touches like that. Okay, let's get out of here, Starman. Okay, let me just get organized, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna fix up our thrusters and hull and and uh, and fly to the outpost. Hang on one sec. I'll be right back. All right, we're almost done. There is one thing I want before we head out to the outpost, and that is a deputy's hat. I have enough iron now, and if we're gonna show up at an outpost, then we want to look the part. We like being the sheriff. There we go. Awesome. We got the gun for it anyway. And now he has the hat. Perfect. Okay, so let's do it. We have all the fragments. We have enough cash now. Repair ship's thrusters. 20 core fragments, 1,000 pixels. And let's let him finish talking so we don't interrupt him. That would be rude. And let's issue the command. And there's a buddy hitting something on an anvil. It's a, okay. <laughs> that was random. The ship's thrusters have been repaired. Travel within the system is now available. We need to fix the ship's FTL drive with a hundred moonstone. Our scanners have also picked up the presence of a strange gate in this system. We should check that out first. Awesome. All right. Well, this is as far as I've ever gotten. I've never, I've never done this yet. We've completed that that quest. Yeehaw! The old girl's got some more in her yet. Next, I'll need to repair the FTL drive. So we have to repair the faster than light drive in order to go beyond uh, this system. Now, we have to give it some fuel. So let's dump some fuel in here. There we go. That's still fueled with coal. And now we hop in the pilot seat and see if we can get out of it. Oh, you can, awesome. Yeah, I couldn't right click before, but now we can. So here is the entire system. And we're here in this planet, obviously. So we can, we can go to any one of these within the system, and we're going to have to go to a moon, apparently, to fix the FTL drive. But we don't need that right now. This is the gate, I guess. Looks like a gate. Oh, it is. It's Beta Menza 3085 9. Shows the gravity, shows the weather. But we just want it to use it to get to the outpost, I think. I think that's how we get there. Sail says to go there, so that's where we're going. All right. Let's do it. Oh, what? Just dump it all in there. Whatever. Wow. How far is this darn thing? Pretty far. All right. Let's... What are you, what are you talking about? All right, guys. I'm going to collect more coal. Maybe that's what it is. And then we'll give it another shot. I'm not really sure what's going on. Thought I had everything we needed. But I must be missing something. As you can see here, coal is pretty easy to find, and most of the coal veins or pockets are pretty large. So it's not much trouble, but it is certainly a grind. All right, guys, I figured it out. We actually did not have enough fuel, and you can see it right here. The yellow bar shows you the amount of fuel you need. The green is, is surplus fuel that you have in the tank. So we need 500 fuel to get there. And the other thing I was doing wrong is, let me show you here quickly in case you run into the same problem. Um, if you don't click on this, just click like that, you're never gonna get anywhere. Watch. Yeah, okay, click on that. Yes! Okay, here we go. The ship works. Punch it, Chewie. Oh, 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 we're almost there. We're almost there. I should take a nap. I should have taken a nap during the flight because I'm a little hurt. I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet these guys. Go to the outpost. But first, we have to go to the gate. I think that's what we have to do. This sail's no help right now. He's like, just go to the gate. I'm like, fine. Beam to the planet. Okay. Hope I can breathe here. <gasps> Hold your breath. Oh, low gravity. That's awesome. Oh, check this out. This is awesome. Oh, here it is. I gotta press that probably. Can I take these things? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, ancient pillar. I. Oh boy. Yeah. I, ooh. Okay, I'm just taking one. Just one. It should still work, right? <laughs> Let's go. Gate outpost. Oh baby. Here we go. Yes, Starman. Woohoo! Woo! Now where do we go? I think this way. I like that light. I really like that light. 
Okay, nobody saw that. Besides, I have a gun. I'm the sheriff. Oh, wow. Infinity Express. Wh what? This is sort of expensive. Okay. Very expensive gas. And it looks like it's a storage container. I don't buy gas here. I can just put stuff in. That is nice. It's all locked up. Ooh. Getting a little jerky in here. A little jerky jerky. Oh, that's an automatic door. I didn't even... Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's got its own little sensors. Hi. I should put the gun away. Sorry. Ma'am. Oh, she has a little exclamation. That's the universal symbol for, I've got a quest. Speak to me. New quest. A fair trade. Nice to see a friendly face. To tell you the truth, we're really hurting for food supplies at the moment. If you bring me five pieces of alien meat, I can give you an air packet generator. They create breathable air in empty space around you. They won't work in liquids, but they're very useful for exploring airless environments. I bet I need that for the moon to get the FTL drive fixed up. Ma'am? I would gladly get you some meats. Hold on. Wait a minute. I have some meats. Let's talk again. Please talk to me. I got your meats, ma'am. I had it the whole time. Come back. Okay, I don't know how... Ooh. <laughs> I just leaped right at her. She's probably all freaked out. Okay, anyway. So, this is the outpost, guys. Maybe that quest isn't complete right now. Again, this is the nightly build. The game is not finished by any stretch of the imagination. There's still lots of work to go. Um, so, I imagine... Maybe that's just not working right, or maybe I don't know what to do, and I'm not giving her the meat. Here, let's give her the meat. I don't need it. Eat the meat. No, I ate it. Never mind. Okay. Can't give it to her. I love it. Look at bathroom trash. This is, this is great! Fire extinguisher. There's all kinds of people here. Look at this. We've got a Boba Fett. Hi. Need a bounty. He is a bounty hunter! I could use the pixels. I knew it. I knew it. He was a bounty hunter. And we have bird ma'am. I've learned there's much too, more to life than flying. There's a whole... Right. And then the monkey guy. It's not much you can do. And then just chat with people. This is awesome. So fun. Travel Mart. So right now, all t Terra Mart. All this stuff is just for storage. My guess is we'll be able to purchase from them eventually. What is this? Like a elevator? You okay there, Florin? I think you're a Florin. Are you a Florin? I haven't, I've never met a Florin before. Glitch guy. He's like, mm, grumpy. Oh, uh, dudes, this is great. Hey, I know a monkey like you. Oh, I can cook in your microwave. <laughs> this is tremendous. <laughs> okay, whatever, dude. Humans. Oh, uh, lovely hair. And what the? Treasure trophies. Dude. Look at this thing. You're a, you're a storage container. Oh, it's a Jawa. Hi. Hi, Jawa. What do they say again? Utiri. Utiri. Can I shoot you? Penguin Bay. Oh, I can hop on top of this. This is great. I'm, I want to shoot somebody. Just because just I'm curious. I'm not reading what they're saying. I'm just rifling through their belongings. That's a nice computer. But I'm afraid if I shoot them now, then they'll shoot me back or kick me out. So anyway, yeah, so the whole point of this outpost is it's going to give you kind of a, 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 a launching pad area. Oh, look at the toilets. Taking one. I need one of these for my for my ship. Yes. <laughs> the dryer, hand dryer. Oh, this is fantastic. So yeah, this is kind of your, your starting area, your, you know, your newbie town. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it quits here. I hope you all enjoyed. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to get to that uh, those core fragments, essentially. So... Um, we did that. We accomplished that. We got to the outpost, and sooner or later, we're going to have a bunch of, bunches of quests. Ma'am! Stick them up! I got your meat. That's not funny! I can't talk. You don't... <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't... I have your meat. You just won't accept it. I don't know how to give her her meats. Oh, well. All right, I'll figure that out. Maybe it doesn't even work. But uh, there you go, folks. Outpost. Very cool stuff. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. I'll, I'll probably do some more of these nightly build um, videos for you just to kind of catch up and see where Chucklefish is. And maybe we'll go out to the moon if we can. But All right. I'm going to go explore a little bit. So, All right. Oh, what's this? Is that like my breath? Am I going to die? I don't know what that is. All right, guys and gals. We'll see you soon. And that's the end of the road. All right. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.